What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idol Heroes. Not really gameplay, but more or less uh, kind of talking about why a lot of times you guys see we have some really good high quality image files, especially for like thumbnails and stuff like that. A lot of people ask and we do actually have a data mine on the game lexi is awesome to provide me with the download files for a lot of these because every single week there's a new data mine to download essentially new image files every single week and what i've kind of noticed and what we're going to show you guys here is all the images we have for next week's events in the past mid autumn festival has traditionally been a pretty good event we even got like a free skin one year stuff like that we get some free rewards it's usually a kind of big deal um and we're gonna take a look at the images. I'm gonna show you guys what I actually have access to if you guys ever wondered what it looks like with all the files that we have. We even have these really weird like just shaded streaks and everything. Everything that goes into the game for the event, we essentially have image files for. And what I've noticed are the events that I have more images for in the data mine usually coincides with like a better event overall so let's jump into it i'm going to show you guys a bunch of different image files here hopefully you guys enjoy something like this let me know if you do because i can show you guys a lot of the behind the scenes images that we have this one has a ton of really good and cool artwork so i'm cool to show i'm really excited to show it off there's some random stuff there's some cool stuff let's jump right into it <laughs> So yes, image number one is an amazingly stellar one. It's this little brown streak essentially that went somewhere and probably had text over it. But you guys can see we have down to the most basic images in the game here to some really cool artwork and stuff like this little background i actually might use as a background one time and that might be something you might notice too is some of these might look a little familiar you might have noticed some of these backgrounds in the backgrounds of some of our thumbnails previously which are really cool we have event icons this looks like it might have been last year's with the uh the bow buns and stuff uh but you see this is like one of the interfaces for the event so you had like all the icons on the left and everything we have literally all the raw images this one is really cool i, I actually might use this one again this year for a thumbnail if we have like a cd key code or something actually we will because next month october we're gonna have a cd key code so you can see there's some really awesome artwork in here that looks really clean uh, and then we literally have the translations for every single language that the game supports i can't tell you what they all are maybe german um <laughs> Italian, I don't know, Korean, I think the more curvy letters are like Korean, I don't know, or in Japanese, I, there's, there's a lot of different languages in here, this looks like probably uh, some Eastern European or Russian language here, another Asian language, hey look, we got the English one that we can actually see, it's the Celebration Treasure Box, during the event, collect or get Celebration Treasure Boxes to get the following in the ways, uh, it was heroic summoning the previous year system mail so you can kind of see how we get some cool stuff and then we have some just like really basic images this looks like probably like an empty hp bar versus like a full hp bar oh this is one i have actually used previously for a thumbnail i remember i put like a couple image files like in each one of these baskets so it were really really cool uh, and I think last year you had to make the buns with different ingredients that you got from events. So there's literally like five different event currencies uh, and different events. And you can notice like this is the icon that would go back on that one big green image that we had. So we have like every single asset from every location. And we even have stuff like this. I think I might have used this in a thumbnail before, but you might be wondering how I get some of those thumbnails that look really clean. Like the hero actually is in the background image. It's ones like this, where you can see they're literally just kind of built in. This was for Azrael. Wonder if we had Azrael come out last mid autumn festival then. That actually when he came out, it could have been. Uh, and then we have more <laughs> random language stuff changes. Let's see what the English one. It was the Moon Chase. Purchase the package to get double goal rewards of Star Collection on the Imps Adventure event. So you can kind of see here, we had these little cookies. I forget what the cookies are called, uh, but we have a lot of cool little image files here. Now, sadly, when you put them on a thumbnail, because they're so little on here, they they don't they don't scale up well as you guys can see they get extremely pixelated if you try to enlarge them but some of the artwork is really really cool i think we might have used this one in the past too i can't remember uh what is this one here we have another translation and just some random squares some stars some other dots 
Another health bar. <laughs> so you can see it's the Moonlight Fair. Idle Continent Moonlight Fair is open for a limited time. And this is literally for like all past mid-autumn festival events. Like this isn't just like last year's. This is a ton of them. Even going back, it looks like to a special package where we got the Ignis skin. So this must have been like two to three years ago, potentially, because we haven't got a regular hero skin in forever. And this is 2,500. So that's... Is that a $50 pack? Man, this is back when we used to still get like $50 and $70 packs. Instead of the $100 packs, you'd get the gems. You basically just get the skin for free because this looks like the normal rewards you'd get. Actually, no. This looks like the rewards you used to get for $100. Hmm. I can't remember. Oh, but you can see a blast from the past right here. The Ignis skin just came out. Uh, we have the what? What's the next event? It's called the Mid-Autumn Package. So yeah, that's where you get the Dragon Maiden skin, which was kind of cool. Uh, this one was interesting too. I think this is the event where you had to feed the either the cookies or the, the bow buns or something like that to one or the other side to get like the corresponding rewards that that side had, which was pretty interesting. I've never seen that icon before. That one's interesting. I don't feel like I remember seeing that icon either. I remember the bunny. Wait, why is the bunny in here? It's, yeah, it's actually for Mid-Autumn Festival. That's really weird. Uh, we got some other icons here. This is a cool background with the floating lanterns and everything. I, I'm pretty sure I've used this one in a couple backgrounds before. Uh, I guess we had her skin. No, her skin didn't come out. This was the anniversary skin, but it was, she was like, um, I think it was like a roulette wheel. And she was like the, the host next to it, which was pretty cool. Uh, you see literally just random shaders for different things. We have another really cool background. I like this one, the little edges and everything. This stuff it looks really cool when you put it over another image because it has all this grayed out area and everything, which is really awesome. Uh, so that's why I, like, I feel like my thumbnail game has gone up a little bit because we have so many more good assets to work with now for the Moonlight Fair here. Uh, this one I think I used earlier today. I think that this is the background I used for the Save Gems and Wishing Coins for Mid-Autumn Festival video. And again, it's just really, really cool the type of images that we get here. I wonder how many more we have. Let me take a, a, a quick sneak peek. Oh my gosh, we got, some, we got some of the best stuff coming up. These were the little cakes, cookies that we made up in the Mid-Autumn Check-In Rewards. These are cool. So I think we had a story. Like there was a branching story that you could go to get different rewards. And each one had like different vestas and stuff. But this... This is really cool because this one right here, we have a ton of different panels here. Just of cool cartoony artwork that was designed. It's really interesting. Uh, Carrie and Penny are there with the Vessa. This is like an adventure story for Vessa right here. <laughs> and maybe when it was in the game, you didn't really notice. But if you just take a look at the images here, it's really interesting. What did the Lacium do to those cakes? What? Uh, Bell Rain, just sappy, and yeah, I think I think that was the last like full art type stuff we had. Oh, actually, no, we have another year's event coming up. Hold on, we have all these which are like the mini icons before you go full screen with it. Uh, and then we also have that looks cool. We have these stories right here. So these are ones that we had. Um, I think they're like the grayed out version. So it's like once you defeat it, it turned gray or maybe it was vice versa. I can't remember, but again, really cool. And then we have another really awesome, like kind of border artwork. That's really cool. That would be actually really cool to use as like a webcam border. Actually, I just thought of that. That would actually be really, really cool to do thematic borders. Like when I'm recording in my in game and stuff like that, because I don't have a border on this, but that could be pretty interesting. We had one other VIP event right here. Let's see what it says. VIP rewards to getting VIP during the event. I don't even remember what that is right there. I don't know. It was some sort of activity. This is probably one of the panels for the preview for the year. We have one more translation of Mid-Autumn Festival, just the Jade Rabbit. And then I want to show you something cool. So we also have these images that are spine. So anything that is like animated in game, they come in the form of a spine because these images move and flow. And so I still get the images on them. You can see all these like really wispy, smoky effects that happen. Uh, oh, that's kind of freaky. That, that reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy. Uh, we have like the new, oh, this is actually the new autumn background spine. So this is for the actual game. Uh, before we got the latest update, this was the game, The like all the pieces and parts and pieces for like the bridges, the, the buildings, everything like that. 
you can literally assemble it together if you want. And I have done that for like uh, Tower of Oblivion and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. So that's a little peek behind the scenes for you. But I'll tell you, we have a lot of Autumn Festival stuff. Some of them being really cool. Like, honestly, this is like, this is one of my favorite backgrounds I've ever seen in the game and absolutely love it. So let me know what you guys think. I'm hoping this event coming up with Wishing Coins and Gems is really good. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them, give you a little peek behind the curtain of content creation here at Barry Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.